Hey, Jim, we're looking at the Future Gun Pro from Mini Motors. I did an initial look at this scooter and I had some issues and I'll, I'll just quickly tell you what those were. I had some issues with the bearings in the front wheel and you know, I was kind of at the wrong time with the supply chain. So there was some weight on those bearings and then the second set of bearings didn't really work. So it took a few iterations to get this front tire working as it should. It was making a bunch of no like terrible noise. I might even put a clip of that noise in here. Uh, uh, but I got it resolved and this scooter is just a little rocket ship. This is the fast, by far the fastest single motor scooter I've tested. And I'll show you, I'm going to show you briefly around it. All the specs are going to be down in the description and I'll discuss my performance tests and range tests. And at the end of this video, just give you a little what I think about it. So stick around, leave a comment, subscribe. Let's do it. All right, the first thing I think people notice on this about the future gun is just how beefy it is. Like it looks like for a single motor scooter, it just looks like a little beast. Inside this rubberized deck here, you got a 52 volts, 20.8 amp hours. So a whole gob of watt hours in there. And that 52 volt battery is tied to a 30 amp output controller is what is really making this scooter a little rocket ship. Um, the fenders, both front and rear, are metal integrated into the frame. The little brace plate back here is logoed also metal. Big lighting strips down the side um, that have all that multicolors that the Dualtrons are known for. Power button there, turning on lights. And uh, the charge port is there just on the right side of the deck. You do have a spring style rear suspension and then a little a little front suspension there above the tire. Also a metal fender. This tire is an eight inch sort of narrow tire. Maybe one of the downsides of the scooter. The, that tire doesn't give you a lot of confidence up there in the front. The rear tire is solid and also eight inches. The suspension in the rear is does a pretty good job, but it does not, you you cannot forget that you have a solid tire back there. All these Dualtrons come with these rather forgettable grips. Slight in color style, they're not everybody's a fan of, but they do do the job. There's a little bit of movement in that you don't really feel necessarily when you're riding. Notification bell, <laughs> um, brakes with cutoffs. i3 display best part of the i3 display is one of all the customers customization you can do but also great daytime visibility with this display two presets here on the handlebars all the dimensions from those from the deck will be down in the description we got dual drum brakes dumb brake rear i just dead them dumb brakes I personally like the drum brakes. Um, you can't really lock up the wheels as easily as you can with a disc. Um, it still provides adequate stopping power and they're nicely protected from the elements. You see some braking data and braking in action here on the future gun. Acceleration wise, the future gun just feels very zippy. The thing you don't really see here um, in the straight line acceleration testing is how strong it feels when you're accelerating from like 10 miles per hour up. It just has a nice sound to it and really, really spools up nicely. Three, two, one. Not too bad, just kind of zip right up there. The scooter's advertised range is 45 miles. I saw quite a bit less than that in the low 30s, going somewhere between 15 and 20 miles per hour. Going faster than that, you're gonna get less range, even more so. Uh, this is pretty common with higher output scooters like this. Dialing back some of the P settings can potentially get you closer to those advertised range numbers. Watch out, there's a big puddle. Um, here you can see I was riding in some after rainstorm and this is how I recommend approaching puddles with all scooters 
including the future gun, regardless of what their IP ratings, water resistance ratings may be. I felt the future gun is quite stable at speed. Now some other people might feel differently because of that kind of narrow 8 inch tire up front. This is some top speed footage from my first look at the future gun. This is the fastest I got the future gun up to, to about 29.3 miles per hour you'll see here. Surprisingly fast to me and just, just a real spunky fast scooter. It feels solid when you ride it, even though you feel some of the road vibrations. Um, hopefully some of the ride footage will communicate that to you. Um, but it, it just feels real fast. Now there are some times where this rear solid tire uh, with the grounds a little bit wet and if you're cornering and giving a lot of throttle you start to lose a little traction so there is some downside to having this much oomph in a rear motor scooter but i think it's a lot of fun so for the weight of this scooter this has got to be the fastest per pound uh, scooter that i know of uh, the stem has a little movement in it. there's some like lack of refinement because it is kind of a newer model um, but assuming this model sticks around i assume that many motors will get this under control and you always have their support for a year on these scooters so that's i mean that's a good reason to buy some mini motors products even even though some of the kinks aren't 100 percent worked out on this particular one but it sure is a blast to ride around so see you next time oh and here's how the motor sounds I mean, just listen listen to that thing spool up it's like hello good lord insane